You gotta come down, gotta come down. A little down more. Yeah, right there, yeah, yeah. All right, you the tech man. <laughs> <laughs> now I can see it on the thing. There you go. And welcome back to talk to me with the coach, Michael E. Maiden, as I'm down on the field visiting with Nick Swilkins. As I'm... <laughs> back to talk to me with the coach Michael E. Maiden as I'm down on the field visiting with Nish. Come on, coach. As I'm visiting with Nick Swisher, Chicago go. White Sox outfielder. How we doing today? I'm doing great, man. Doing great. Got ourselves in a wonderful position. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun coming down the stretch. Well, we're coming down the home stretch, and you got a game and a half lead, and all the experts had Cleveland and Detroit, and look like they're out of it right now. Exactly. Well, I mean, you know, right now on the standings, Cleveland's 10 and a half, Detroit's 12 and a half. So uh, I think there might be a handful of people around the country picked us to be where they are. But uh, for everybody else that didn't pick us, uh, you know, hey, we're standing here strong, uh, and we're ready for this challenge up ahead. Well, you guys been on a power surge lately, <laughs> and especially you. What's up with the home runs? It's, it's been a lot of fun, man. And I think, you know, I mean, home runs anymore in, in this day and age is, is, is a lot more fun for the fans and this and that. And we got a bunch of guys on this team that can hit the long ball. And, uh, yeah, we've done a tremendous job. I mean, uh, as much as we'd like to think most of our runs haven't scored off the home run, they really have, you know, and that's a big part of our game. And uh, I don't know. I mean, with Quentin going down, uh, you know, we're just going to all have to pull together as a team and, and, and do this thing. Uh, you know, we got a lot of youngsters that watch our show, and they all have that dream of playing in the big leagues. How much pressure is it at this point in time to be in the big leagues and in playoff contention? Well, you know, I mean, for me, you know, I'm one of those guys that I have fun every day. It's, it's hard to put pressure on me. I think, you know, uh, as, as not only as a kid, but coming up through the system and making my way here, I don't think anyone put more pressure on myself than I did. And I think that's the biggest thing. And, you know, every day I get to go out on this beautiful piece of grass and play my game. And, uh, you know, uh, the big man upstairs blessed me to play this. Uh, could not be more happy with the opportunity I've been given. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be 50 years old sitting on a rocking chair wishing I would have done something. So, you know, I want to go out there, have fun, and it'll be the best I can every day. And to that young baseball player out there that's watching this show, you know, as I, you know, having been a major league scout and coached college ball, I know it's all about getting an opportunity, right yeah. place, right time. When would you say you got your opportunity? I don't know. You know, I, I think in 2004, coming up at AAA, you know, I, I, uh, that was my shot. As a matter of fact, Jermaine Dye went down with a, with a, I think he broke his thumb or his finger, mm -hmm. and uh, that was my time to shine. And I think the biggest thing about it is, is those opportunities don't come along very often. Your window of opportunity is so little. Mm -hmm. So uh, once you get that chance, you've got to do everything in your power to, to do the best you can because you never know when that opportunity is going to come again. So to that young high school baseball player out there, what would you tell him to do to, to get himself exposure? Well, I think the biggest thing is hard work. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, if you're blessed with a talent, uh, you know, people will find you. I mm -hmm. think that, you know, uh, anymore kind of seems like nowadays that work ethic's kind of been thrown out the window. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people think, think a lot of things will be given to them. Uh, in this game, and I think life in general, things are not given to you. You go out there and take them. So every opportunity you get, in my mind, I would tell you to go take those opportunities, mm -hmm. make the best of them, and make a name for yourself. And I'm going to ask just one last question because I know you got a team meeting and Ozzy don't like you late. Yeah. So Cubs in first place, Sox in first place. We're gearing up for a Cubs Sox World wow. Series. Now I know your father played for the Cubs, yeah, you exactly. with the Sox. Yep. Now who are we going to be rooting for? Wow. Well, <laughs> he better be rooting for me. I know that. So, Dad, if you watch this, you better be rooting for us. I know that. All right, Dad. Well, we got you on that Cubs Sox series. We're going to interview Dad next. <laughs> coach with Nick Swisher. All right, Coach. Thanks, Thanks bud. All right, All right man. Y'all take care.